Well, good morning, everybody, and I hope you're having a, uh, a great holiday uh, in memory of Martin Luther King. When I think of all the events that have taken place in Washington the last uh, couple of weeks and the inauguration coming up just in a couple of days and the turmoil, the concern that everybody has about uh, this, that, and the other thing, I can't help but think that the celebration we have this week of Martin Luther King's birthday uh, is really something that kind of should get us thinking about what he lived and died for. But also coincides with a celebration that the church has that started after the Vatican Council of a week of prayer for church unity. Uh, I mean, it's really something that we, we, we need not only in the churches, Catholics and Protestants together, uh, Orthodox, uh, but also in our nation. And so I think of the readings of yesterday, you know, the call of Samuel. Samuel listened. Then the story of, of Peter and, uh, and, uh, and Andrew and John and how they met Christ and they believed that he was the Messiah. What's going on here? In our day, our prayer is not quite like Samuel. Samuel's prayer to the Lord was, speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Nowadays, it's more like, Lord, listen for your servants are speaking. Maybe it's time we listen to God. You know, Martin Luther King, as we remember him today, Martin Luther King was a flawed individual, absolutely. But I believe that he listened to the voice of God and God uses throughout history flawed people. And if you want an inspiration today, Google his speech on the mall, the I Have a Dream speech. Remember those great lines? I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Because then he went on to talk about freedom. And that freedom comes to us as a result of being God's children. Then he went on at the end of his talk, he says, where everybody will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children Black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing on the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. See, it always comes back to God. And I think that's the, the beauty of yesterday's readings for us. Christ's invitation to us. Think of those words, come and see. Andrew, John, and Peter saw and they believed. Let us turn to God this week and that we may listen to his voice. God bless and have a great week.